Doing well, please have a seat. Thank you. How's your day been going so far? It's going good. How's yours? Good. Thanks for asking. Of course. Hey, I was talking to your secretary outside, Joe, mm -hmm. and he mentioned that you just came back from a conference. How was that? It was good. Good, yeah. good. It's going good. And he also mentioned that we have 20 minutes today. Is that still on track? That is still on track. Perfect. And in order to fully utilize and respect your time, may I propose a short agenda? Of course. Perfect. So yeah. first and foremost, I just want to learn a little bit more about your company and a few of your current initiatives and goals. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I'd like to talk about how Gartner may be in a position to help you reach those goals. And lastly, if it makes sense to both of us, we could talk about next steps and a partnership opportunity. Okay. How does that sound to you? Sounds fair enough. Okay. Is there anything that you would like to add or focus on with that today? No. Okay. Now, just so I have a clear picture of um, how to present, if Gartner was able to provide you a value-adding solution, what would your decision-making process look like in order to go about that? Uh, it's just me. Just you? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what types of critical criteria do you look for when you're making decisions? ROI. ROI. And specifically, what type of ROIs do you look for? Increased ROI. <laughs> I mean, you want someone to make money for me. Oh, I know. There's, there's hard ROI, ROI, soft ROI. That's just, yeah. I wasn't sure if it's monetary value or even some of those softer things. Yeah, like so hard, hard ROI and strategic ROI, something that I look for. Perfect. And thank you for clarifying. No, thank for you me. for clarifying. So just to turn the tables a little bit back more on you, what are you know Dubuque's current initiatives? Uh, right now, what I've been focusing on is just increasing our top line revenue. Okay. Top line revenue. Yep. And how do you, how do you help assist in that goal? There's many things that I'm um, I'm working on, but the biggest thing I would say is launching our Microsoft Dynamics AX. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Launching Microsoft. Mm-hmm. And then with this top line revenue, what else are you currently doing in order to increase this revenue? Yeah, so this is where the, the catch-22 is, is that I also have to assist in reducing cost overall for the organization too. Okay. So it's a little bit pull and push. Okay, and how much do you want to increase your revenue? Yes, yeah, so 20%. 20%, that's mm -hmm. an incredible goal. I love that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and cutting these costs, you know, how much do you want to decrease them by? I have to decrease it by 5%. 5%? Okay. And what have you currently been doing in order to cut these costs? So right now I haven't really been doing anything. I've just been focused on the Microsoft Dynamics. Okay. Right. Now I'd like to learn a little bit more about your launch of Microsoft Dynamics. What have you currently been doing? Yeah, so right now me and my staff, we have been looking at some webinars, some instructional videos, even research different infographics. Okay. Fact sheets, white papers, all of the basics. Wow, that sounds like a, a lot of information in a lot of different places. Of well, make sure we do it right. Absolutely. Making the right decision is always important. Mm -hmm. um, you know, how much time are you and your team spending on doing this research? I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Um, how many people do you have in your team? We have about 32. 32? Right. And how many of them are dedicating to research? I'd say the majority of them. I'd like to actually increase our team as well, too. Oh, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. It's very exciting. Yeah. Um, and what made the prompt to increase the team? Yeah, I mean, all of this rolls up to the biggest priority, which is that customer satisfaction piece. Okay. So everything that we're doing plays a, a role into that. And I think in order to actually get the Microsoft Dynamics going on, increase that top revenue, and even reducing spin, we have to increase our, our IT staff. Okay, and thank you for being quite transparent with yeah. me. Um, with this customer satisfaction goal, um, what are you currently been doing to you know, increase customer satisfaction? Everything we just discussed. Okay, so all these goals really just just help rolls implicate. up into that. Okay, right. And thank you for clarifying. No problem. So with your top line revenue increasing it by twenty percent, mm -hmm. um, what have you currently been doing? Is it the the Microsoft and the Dynamics is really the main launch of that? Yes, so Microsoft Dynamics is something that actually helps streamlines efficiencies through everything. Okay. Yep. And thank you for that. Yep. So out of increasing your revenue, launching Microsoft Dynamics and reducing these costs mm -hmm. and finding the right staffing and increasing it, where would you rank 
you know, your number one priorities? Is going to be that top line revenue. Top line revenue. And if, if you had to pick a, a number one, or number two and number three, what would that look like? Uh, top line revenue, I would say reducing costs okay. and hiring additional IT staff. Okay. And then you went a little bit into Microsoft Dynamics with me as well. Yeah. You mentioned you're doing webinars, infographics, and you really just want to get this technology to streamline mm -hmm. your processes. You're, you're not sure about how much time, but you have approximately 32 members you know, working on this. Mm -hmm. What would they be doing if they weren't researching? Probably implementing. Okay, implementing. And you know, how reliable do you think that these resources are for you right now? I think um, the information that we have is, is good. I mean, I don't okay. know how reliable it is, but it's something, we don't have that knowledge already, so it's relevant okay. information. That makes sense. And what would you do if you were 100% sure that you had the most unbiased and reliable information? If I was 100% sure, I mean, something that I'm personally trying to do is become CEO of this organization, so That's that amazing. would make me feel extremely confident and confident in front of my, my higher ups. I love that. Thanks. Very ambitious goal and yes. I am I'm rooting for you all the way. <laughs> Thanks. So just so I can summarize, you know, you, mm -hmm. your main goal is to increase this top line revenue. Right. Uh, additionally, you want to reduce costs by 5% mm -hmm. and you want to increase your team um, to help with all of these goals. Additionally, these you want to launch Microsoft Dynamics and all of these goals will help you increase customer satisfaction and really get you to that CEO role. Right. So, did I miss anything that's important to you? No. <laughs> okay. I think you covered it all. Okay, perfect. And if Gartner was able to provide you a solution to help you hit these key goals, would you be interested in hearing more about that? Of course. Perfect. And would it be helpful if I provided just a high-level overview of Gartner before getting into your custom solution? Sure. Okay. So, Gartner is currently the world's leading research and advisory company. We serve as 74% of the Fortune 500 with their key initiatives and goals. And we do this for with a multitude of ways. So we have a cost optimization tools, research capabilities, as well as an executive partnership program. And all these help you do save time, save money, gain resources, and mitigate risk in your decisions. Okay. So specifically, you mentioned that increasing this top line revenue is one of the biggest priorities for you. So what we have is Gartner has research capabilities. So. With this, it's the world's largest database of unbiased research. And so if you could research anything to help with your increased revenue, what would you look at? Microsoft Dynamics. Okay. You can feel free to play with that. Sorry, little keypad. <laughs> I hope I can even type Microsoft. I put me Dynamics. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey, that is all <laughs> right. Let's see, Microsoft Dynamics. Let's see. <laughs> Technology. You have to love it. Honestly, it's it's kind of one of the coolest things out there, especially when it works. That's right. So as you can see, Microsoft Dynamics comes up with just over 6,000 articles. Now, can you read 6,000 articles in a respectable time? No. Exactly. So what Gartner can provide to you is to help assist with this revenue increase with this Microsoft Dynamics piece, mm -hmm. you can, uh, as a partner, filter your results down. So if you could filter these results down by anything, what would you filter it by? Probably what's relevant to retail. Okay. So if we plug in a filter, we can't do it because it's just public view. Mm -hmm. As a partner, you could filter it down to find the key results that you need in retail, Microsoft Dynamics, and really increasing revenue through these type of systems. Okay. Now, how would you utilize this tool? Um, probably exactly like that. If I had the filter option, then I could filter it down to specifically what is it going to show me for Microsoft Dynamics and retail. Of course. And additionally, you mentioned that one of your key initiatives, again, is reducing these costs by 5%. Mm -hmm. So what Gartner has is we have cost optimization tools. Now, are you familiar with any of these tools? No. Okay. So what we do is we have something called the IT budget tool. So what this is, is you take a 20 to 40 minute survey and you can delegate this task as well because they know you're extraordinarily busy. Mm -hmm. And what this does is it spits out a 27 page report and it breaks down your budget line by line 
and specifically where you can help reduce costs. Okay. So it not only compares your organization year over year, but it, it does the retail industry, your top competitors, and the top competitors in the industry. Now, how long would it take you to compile a report similar to this? I'm not sure. It's never been something that's been top of mind to do. Okay. And what would you do with this information uh, to help you reduce costs? It just depends. I have to look at this report a little bit deeper to see how I can actually leverage it. Okay. So you mentioned leveraging the specific pieces. Would it be helpful if I broke down this to a little bit more? Sure. Okay. So specifically, um, what it's there is, is so you can see IT spending as a part of revenue, as well as you can break down the pieces of your employee budget and where they're additionally spending. So you can break it down line by line to see exactly where you're spending and see if you're over or under spending compared to the best in the industry. Okay. Does that help uh, clarify a few things? Yes. Perfect. And additionally, you mentioned that you want to increase your team. Now just hypothetically for me, what happens if you over or underestimate how many people you need on your team? Um, I need to increase by 10 actually. By 10? Now how did you come up to that number? That's just what I actually need to support with the Microsoft Dynamics. Okay, and so this is something that you've noticed through Microsoft Dynamics and that's your... Yes. Um, okay, so that's how it's justified. Mm -hmm. Now what happens if you actually need 12 in full-time employees? Yeah, that's the thing that's going to be tricky because I have to actually increase my employees, but I also have to increase top on revenue, but mm -hmm. I also have to decrease it, so it's just very interesting. Yeah, you're juggling a lot of pieces and I respect you fully for your role. Mm -hmm. Uh, one thing that Gartner can help you with in order to figure out the right employee count. Right. Um, say it's 10, say it's 8, say it's 12. Mm -hmm. Again, it's in this cost optimization tool. So 20 minutes out of your day and you can find out the exactly where your IT staff are going, like what part of the um, piece of the puzzle that they're spending on their technology, mm -hmm. as well as making sure that you're in line with the Microsoft Dynamics in the industry. Right. Now, How would you utilize this? I, I like this, but something else that I'm facing challenges with is that I actually have to reduce our costs at the, the overall organization, so. Of course. So, um, one thing is, you know, the, the IT budget tool does is helps you find where you're over or under spending. So it can help you reduce those costs by 5%. Would okay. that be a value added tool to help you hit that goal? Yes, it would be. Okay. So. Um, with all of this in mind, I know you're the sole decision maker, mm -hmm. With, would you feel comfortable moving forward with a partnership today? Uh, I like what you show me. Okay. Uh, right now, it's just, what's the price? <laughs> I haven't seen it. I'm glad you brought that <laughs> up. Uh, just so I'm aware, how many people would you see utilizing these, these tools? Just myself for now. Just yourself? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what our investment package looks like, and I do say investment for a reason, mm -hmm. because we're here to invest in you as much as you're here to invest in us. The investment package is $50,000 with a three-year contract that increases 3% year over year, and this is just to account for inflation. So with this investment, and now knowing it, would you feel comfortable moving forward? Okay, so I see it says one year, two year, three year. Yep. So this is a multi-year agreement here? Yes, ma'am. All right, so I'm just not interested in a multi-year agreement. Okay, multi-year. Now, just so, you know, I have a little bit of a clearer picture, what specifically concerns you about a three-year partnership? Yeah, so with everything that I'm working on, I just need to get through this year, and that's all I see myself over Jim Gardner for. Okay, and just to get a little bit of a broader picture, mm -hmm. where do you see technology going three years from now? I don't know. And would it be helpful to have insights not only for today, not only for this year, not only for three years from now, but for the rest of your tenure? It's so nice to have, but it's not something that's top of mind right now. It's something that's top of mind? Okay. Now, what would feel you more comfortable in a three-year agreement? Make me feel more comfortable? Mm -hmm. Just return investment. Okay. And I'm glad you brought that up. So if Gartner was able to provide you a return on investment that would alleviate this initial cost, would you feel more comfortable. Absolutely. Okay. Now, one piece of this puzzle is, again, the IT budget tool, figuring out where you're over or under spending. Mm -hmm. But additionally, we have something called the contract review service. Have you ever heard of this before? No. Okay. So, just so I can give you the best ROI possible, how many vendors do you currently have? Three. Three? And I know the industry average is about a million dollars per contract, but what are yours lie? So, 
IBM is three hundred thousand. Click is two hundred and fifty thousand. VMware is three hundred and fifty thousand. Three fifty thousand. Thank you for being extraordinarily transparent with me. Of course. So one thing with this contract review service, what this looks like is we review all of your contracts. Um, you can submit as many contracts as you'd like. And we find where you may be over or under spending for technologies that may be outdated or maybe you do need to start investing in. Mm -hmm. We find savings in 75% of the contracts. So I know you have three, but we'll hit 75. And here at Gartner, I like to under promise yet over deliver. So we save you 15 to 20% cost savings on our contracts reviewed, right. yet I want to save you, say, 10%. Mm -hmm. That's $67,500. Now, this where, where would this make you feel in order to justify the cost of Gartner? I appreciate this. Okay. I think this is something that is really nice to have. It's just that my funders that I'm doing business with, none of the contracts come up for renewal until next year. Of course. So this isn't something that's actually top of mind for right now. Okay. So what would make you feel more comfortable uh, with an ROI case? Um, well, the price is expensive. Okay. And would it make you feel uh, a bit better with the Gartner price, knowing that we can save you money in the long run, but additionally we can show you testimonials of retail clients who have utilized cost optimization tools and IT budget tool to save that money? I don't really care for client testimonials. Okay. And I know you have a big reputable brand. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So what, what would you like to see from me? I just need time to think about this then. Okay. Um, try to think here. So would you feel comfortable if I just, you know, testimonials are great, but I want to make sure that they're specific to you. I can gather a few and we can set a secondary meeting maybe tomorrow at 8 a.m.? Sure. Okay. Now is there anything that you'd like to help or anything that you'd like me to bring to the secondary meeting? Not that I can think of. Okay. So tomorrow at 8 a.m., I will send you with a just a sample contract, a little bit of what we talked about today. Mm -hmm. And in this link, it's customized, and I will throw a few testimonials in there in order for you to um, just kind of see what Gartner can provide specifically to you. Okay. Now, are there any other questions or concerns you. that you may have? No. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Ms. Good. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> How much time we have left? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we have three minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Hi, judges. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. You're such a good buyer. How do you feel? How do you feel? Thank you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> no, I feel really good. I think that I hit all the pieces, got the cool. all the puzzle pieces. Mm -hmm. um, I just, I love doing this kind of stuff. Awesome. You know? What school you with? I know we met downstairs. Did we? I, I think we did, or I saw you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I go to Central Michigan University. Okay. Yep, Very so cool. fire up. Fire up. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Is this your first time here? No. No? Okay. No. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I was here last year as well. Nice. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Yes, it is. Yeah. So did you accept a job already? Salesforce. Salesforce? Nice. My yep. friend works at Salesforce. Really? What does she do? It's a boy. So he does, I have I think he's fields or something like that. I don't know. Okay. I don't really know. He just started That's really there. Good. That's mm -hmm. so exciting. Mm -hmm. Aw. What office do you know? He works remote, so I have no idea what office. Fair enough. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> so I don't really know. That is it. Okay. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Oh, well, senior at Central Michigan University. Mm -hmm. Just accepted an offer as an analyst with Salesforce. Very cool. Um, more interesting, because I know you're going to see a lot of people today. I do pageants. So, oh, nice. Yep, I compete for Miss Michigan in really? June. Really? Yeah. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. What does that entail of? So that, there's so much. <laughs> you know, it's basically like a, a couple day of an interview, mm -hmm. right? You have a 20 minute interview with a panel of judges and they just try to figure out if you're right for the job of Miss Michigan. Really? What kind of questions do you think they ask? Well, I've done it before, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. this is my third time around. Mm -hmm. But they just ask anything from, you know, how do you impact your community? Why are you right for this role? And just basic paperwork things that we write down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's cool. So what do you do to impact the community? So <laughs> I, no, I love the question. So I created a communication campaign. It's called No Science, No Stigma. Okay. And what this entails is it's just helping people understand the science behind mental illnesses to eradicate that negative connotation. That's really cool. Them. That's Thank awesome. You. you can follow us on Instagram. Is that something that's close to your heart? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there a specific reason why? Um, well, I mean, I've struggled with 
you know, mental illness. Mm -hmm. My brother, he attempted suicide. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very close to my family. So thank you for sharing that. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. You know, I try to be very transparent mm -hmm. um, because the more you talk about it, the more yeah. you What's, make it normal. What is Instagram? Oh, it's no science. Like, understand science. No okay. stigma. Like, no stigma. All right. So Y'all no should science, follow it, no too. <laughs> follow. Thank you. So no oh. science. No stigma. Can't even, I can't type with these nails. Are they new? They so are new. Really good. They're uh, designed after the Game of Thrones dragon. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious.